Hey guys, welcome to your ninth iOS application tutorial. And in this tutorial, it's going to be another table view tutorial, except in this one, I will show you how to customize your table view cells. So we'll choose single view application and only mine cell sub view. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to main storyboard and drag our table view. And I'm going to drag mine right below the status bar. And we're going to go to our outlets for our table view. And we're going to take data source and delegate. And we're going to drag them over to view controller, just like in the last tutorial. And that's all we're going to do for our storyboard. Next, we're going to go to our cell sub view, command N create a new file. It's going to be Objective-C class and we'll name ours custom cell UI table view cell. So we create the files and I'm going to drag them out of supporting just so it looks better and we're going to go to our custom cell dot H file and start adding some code. We're going to add two properties. Property We'll say copy non-atomic ns string name and then at property copy non-atomic ns string weight and that'll be it for the dot h so we'll go over to custom cell dot m and up top we're gonna add ui label and we're gonna say name value UI label weight value just so we have some instance variables for our UI label next we're gonna add quite a bit of code to our init with style so right below this comment we'll start adding some code First thing we want to do is we want to uh, create a CG rectangle. So we'll type CG rect name label rectangle equals CG rect make. And then we get this little function here. So we'll type in 0, 5, 70, and 15. So we have our x and y coordinates and then our width and height, width then height. And basically, 0, 0 is going to be in the top left corner of our cell. So the coordinate system goes down in this program. UI label is going to be our next thing, and we're going to name it name label. Whoops, there we go. And let's initialize it. UI label alloc init with frame. And we just made a rectangle, so we'll say name label rectangle. And so now we have a label that's the size of this. Next thing we want to do is uh, assign it some values. So we're going to say name label text alignment equals ns text alignment right. And that's just the natural alignment we want. And we'll say name label dot text equals name. Pretty standard. And name label dot font equals UI font, just like last time we're gonna make it bold, except pretty small. We're gonna make it twelve. Then we're gonna create this view. So we're gonna say self dot content view add sub view name label. Content view is a sub view of UI view and that's going to hold all of our values so we're going to add sub all our sub views to content view and now we have to make the same thing for weight so cg rect weight label rectangle equals cg rect make and we're going to change the values a little bit it's going to be 0 26 and then same size 70 15 so we're just starting it um, what's that 21 pixels below it 
uh, so t this is this label is going to be 21 pixels below this label in the cell and then we're going to say UI label weight label equals UI label alloc init with frame weight label rectangle and then we're going to do the whole thing weight label dot text alignment equals ns text alignment right weight label dot text equals weight and weight label dot font equals the UI font bold system font size 12 and we will create it self dot content view add sub view weight label and so these are the two labels we wanted to add but now we have to add values to the label because we created the basically the cosmetic side and now we have to add the content for the cosmetic side so CG rect oops we don't want to make one name value rect equals CG rect make this is going to be 80 pixels down then 25 200 15 and we're just making it farther from our name label now we're going to take this name value which we have up here and we're going to give it a value UI label alloc in it with frame name value rectangle self dot content view add sub view name value and one last one CG rect weight value rectangle equals CG rect make 80 25 215 whoops sorry this one up here is supposed to be 5 I was wondering why it was the same alright so next we'll have weight value equals UI label alloc in it with frame oh, come on frame weight value rectangle delete that and next we'll create the sub view self dot content view add sub view weight value okay and we return self so that will be it for this little section now we're gonna create two more methods at the bottom uh, they're gonna be our setter methods we're gonna override the setter methods for uh, name and weight and we're going to say void set name ns whoops ns string and we'll say n if not n is equal to string name name equals n copy so we're just setting the value of name and then we're setting the value of name value dot text to equal to name and we're gonna do the same thing with weight void set weight and as string except we want it to be w because our instance variable is name and weight so we don't want them to be the same if not w is equal to string weight weight equals w copy which is just a copy of the value and then weight value dot text equals weight and now we're gonna go over to our viewcontroller.h because we are done with our custom cell. 
So, just like in the last tutorial, now that we're in view controller h, we need to give uh, our view controller the right protocols. Uh, UI table view delegate and data source. Now that we have those, all we're going to add is at property copy non atomic ns array people. And this is just going to be the array of people which we have values for name and weight. So we'll head over to M. First thing before we do anything is we need to import the files we just made. Import custom cell dot h. So now our view controller can take values and do what it wants with custom cell. Under the view did load we need to make our array so we'll say people equals and we'll say at give a bracket and we're gonna make uh, objects with keys because we want whoops let's redo that there we go we want first key to be name so we'll say at name and then the object is gonna be for the first person we'll say Jeff and we want another key which will be oh we don't need that though at weight object will be 144 Jeff weighs 144 and so that is our first whoops what seems to be the problem oh whoops I thought I had it at there hard to see it's all red there we go alright I'm gonna copy alright so I have all my names and I have their weights I'm going to create a UI table view naming it table view to keep it simple and then I'm gonna say self dot view view with tag one and I might have forgot to do this, so let's go back to main storyboard, click on table view, go to our attributes inspector, head down, and we're going to change the tag to one. And that's just so we know what view we're picking. Like if you had multiple, you could tag each of them. And with this method right here, we'd grab the view with tag one. And so that should do it. I'm going to put ID right here just to be safe. Sometimes a compiler wants to tell you you're doing something wrong, but I'm doing it right. Table view, register, register class for cell reuse identifier. And we're going to say custom cell class for identifier. Oh, let's make our identifier real quick. We'll put that up here. We'll say it's static because I don't want to change it. NS string cell identifier equals cell table identifier. Cell identifier. There we go. All right. So this identifier is just for this all of our cells. We only have like one set of cells and they're all gonna have the same identifier. And now we're gonna add some stuff right above this at end declaration. First things first, NS integer table view and we're gonna say number of rows in section because we want to tell our table how many rows it needs and all we need is enough rows for the number of people so we're gonna say self dot people count and that'll be that for that method and just one more we're gonna return a view table cell uh, whoops UI view I was like why is it not doing it for me UI table view cell and since we're returning an object make sure to have the pointer it's table view, cell for row at index path. We're going to say uh, custom cell. We're going to create a class of that 
just type cell equals table view dq reusable cell for uh yeah just this first one and then we're going to say cell identifier and this is just dequeuing cells that are off screen we don't really need to do it with such a small with such a small program but once if we ever had a huge table we'd need to use this and now we're going to add a ns dictionary because we have uh, an array with keys so we're going to say row data equals self dot people and the piece of the array we want is the index path dot row so row zero gets people zero row one gets people one data so it'll just go down the list and they'll say cell dot name equals row data name all right and then cell dot weight equals row data weight and right after that the reason this red marker is here is because we need to return a cell or an object of UI table view cell which we choose to be our cell that we just made so let's try running this and see how it works so we have our name and weight and we've got all of our people oh it looks like I forgot to add the semicolon to weight Ugh. there we go let's add that and here we go Jobadiah he needs to work out a little bit 733 is pushing it but yeah that is how to create a sub view to customize your cells because before we only had a few options with table view and we just made ourselves a little different so thanks for watching